Hello, Gary Crowley here. Step two of neck and shoulder pain relief here at doyourselfjointpainrelief.com. Um, step two, we want to make sure this, basically your upper, upper back, uh, your upper spine of your back is free and those nerves aren't getting pulled on and causing your pain and discomfort out here. So this, I'm going to show you two ways to get at this. The first way is by grabbing that top of your shoulder here, where probably where you're actually feeling the pain, all within maybe two or three inches of that area. Get your fingertips back there, you'll feel it's probably tender in that whole area. You take your other hand, you can press on it, or you can get your, actually, if you get the same side in there and reach around and press on those fingertips with your other hand, you can really get some good pressure in there and you can press, pull, release, press, pull, release, and you'll feel it start to let go, or you can press, turn your head, nod your head, press, turn your head, move, make that tissue move in whatever way you can. Now this is a bit much, I can do it, I'm flexible enough to do that, my hands are strong enough to do it. If that's too difficult for you, then I'm going to recommend that you do the tennis ball press uh, with that same press hold move technique. So uh, I'm going to lay down here. I'll meet you here in one second. I'll be laying down and I'll show you how to do the tennis ball press. Okay, so here I am now laying down and we're going to do what I call the tennis ball press technique. Although you can use plastic ball, a lacrosse ball. I somehow lost my tennis ball. Um, here's my tennis ball. Um, basically what you're going to do, uh, lying on the floor or a massage table, whatever's comfortable, you're going to stick that ball under your under your upper spine there and your upper back uh, just on the side of it you're going to find a nice tender spot like there's one like there for me now if you lift your hips up you can affect the pressure that you apply to that now that's some nice pressure on that spot and then if I turn my head especially if I turn it this way I can really feel that tissue having to work under the pressure of that ball and I can feel it releasing you can also move my arm, make it move a little bit, a little more better with this. Then after that, let's go, which it has. Move down a little bit. Find another spot, there's another good spot. You can move my arm a little bit. You can even do that a little bit if it's really tight. Then you go to the other side and you do the same thing. Now if this is too much uh, or uncomfortable for you, you can also do this against the wall. And all you do, if this is against the wall, is you take this tennis ball in a sock and you throw it over your shoulder. You find a nice spot, lean against the wall, turn your head, move your arm, tilt your head, whatever way makes that muscle move under, under the pressure that, uh, that the ball is creating. And as you feel that tissue release, you then move to another spot. So that is the end of step two. Thanks for, thanks for doing it and uh, I'll see you at step three. Thanks.